Hey, I'm really excited to be here today. I uh, want to show you this new sweet IDX theme that we've been working on here at Realty Candy. This is a great tool. Um, I'm going to show you in an hour, is my goal, how to build the website that we made in the wireframe video the other day. It looks something like this um, in one hour. So that's that's the goal we're working on. I'm going to show you real quick. Um, Basically, the Sweet IDX comes with a, some different built-in designs in it, and you can it's kind of like having a bunch of themes in one, but it's got a drag and drop um, page builder tool that's just awesome. So I'm going to show you how this works, and uh, then we're going to show you how to build a site, tie in IDX broker. So. Um, the first thing we need to do is let's log into our site here. I'm not going to save my password, but um, let me just slide this over just a little bit so you can see some of this stuff here. Basically, this is the same thing that you're going to see on the back end of any um, WordPress site. There's a place to make posts. This is for blog posts. This should probably say agents, so it says employees, and we'll, we'll change that. Um, listings is a place where you can add in your own um, pocket listings or your own li listings or any listing for that matter that you want to write some information about. We actually may not go into that on this video. Media is where you load up pictures and things like that. We'll actually show you how to get some pictures loaded up in here and how to make forms for your contact pages. Pages is where we're going to go. Um, so that we can make up this new home page. Uh, comments is where people comment on your blog posts. We're not going to use that too much. Here's some templates that are part of the page builder tool. Testimonials. Um, we'll talk about this a little bit, about how to add in some testimonials. This is equity. This is the equity framework that's been designed to work uh, really with tight integration with IDX Broker. So we'll need a couple things here. And uh, the themes, we've already picked that. The plugins that we use. Here's users, this is where you can add a user. And here's some other tools uh, and settings down here. We may not get uh, able to get into all of this. The SEO settings are set here. So um, anyway, I just wanted to show you some of those uh, the things here. I'll show you how easy it is. Like, let's take um, some of the settings. We'll just take a quick look at the general settings on this uh, site. So this is we'll just this is so sweet site. We'll just change that so it's a sweet IDX. You can see it changes here, and uh, so we'll change this. So it just this is a little tagline, and you can put in your information here. Push save, and it's it's going to update this. So now if we open the site, I'm going to open it in a new tab here. Then it's kind of looks the same. This has changed and there's a few values on the SEO end that have been modified, but basically it all looks the same to us. Um, let's take a look. I'm going to show you real quickly how to upload some media. I think this is an important part here. Let's see what we have so far in our library. I have a group of uh, media files that, that we uh, upload into here. And this has got some stuff in it. I'm going to just show you real quickly. Let's uh, go over here. And I'm going to go look for these Atlanta images. Um, actually, this right here. So I've got a bunch of these images. Basically, what I've done is I've I've put a whole series of images in here, and they're all 1,200 pixels wide, except for these that I've saved as 600. But I'm going to change one of these just so we can I can show it to you as an example how to change a, an image. So I'm opening this. Uh, this is actually on preview on a Mac. So if you're using um, if you're using uh, something like on Windows, it'll be different. But up here on the top, which you can't see, I'm hitting Tools, and 
and then I'm going to hit adjust size. So it drops down a little button here. So I'm going to change this to 600 pixels wide and leave all these scale proportionately. The save, and the reason I'm doing that is because some places on your site you don't want a big 1200 pixel uh, image. So uh, if you do that and you push save, then you're going to have that saved as, as 600 pixels. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel that because I can't make any, too many changes. Let me upload a couple of, uh, of images. We'll upload that uh, to our site. So let's get that. Select images. And then I know that they're in the real estate photos and Atlanta. So I think the one that I was just looking at, we're going to grab a, a few of these. Here's downtown traffic. Uh, so I'm going to grab this. And then I'm actually going to hold the shift button down. And I'm going to take all the way up to this point. So I'll just grab all these pictures. Looks like there's about 10 of them. And I'm going to put, hit open on the open button there. Let me slide this over just a little bit. You can see it's loading all these pictures in. So we can use them on the, on the site. So let's take a look. Uh, quickly at the at the wireframe we made the other day. This was the page we made. We're going to put a menu up here at the top. This is where our logo is going to go. We're going to have a big image here. That could be a slider or something. We could change that. We're going to put a search tool. And then we're going to put in these um, Atlanta neighborhoods. We're going to do Marietta, Atlantic Station, Brookhaven, and Buckhead. So we're actually going to make a community page for each of those. And uh, we could add more and more, but we're just going to focus on these four neighborhoods right now. Uh, for the purpose of this video. So one of the first things I'm going to make is these community pages. So uh, let's go over here to, um, well we're still loading these pictures. So maybe while those are loading, I actually have a link up here. So here's the Google search I just did. Atlanta, Neighborhoods, Marietta. And if I remember right, it was here. I really don't want to get it off of Redfin or somebody else's real estate website because that's just not, that's not cool. Um, this, this content would normally need to be rewritten so that uh, we're not just copying somebody else's stuff. So, you know, you can use this. Is this Marietta? Okay, my bad. So it is Marietta. I thought it was Marietta. So let me open that in a in a new window here, and uh, and then we're also going to make one. I think these other three I saw them here at the top. And I'm going to open all of these: Brookhaven, Atlantic Station. And Buckhead. Okay. So, I hope you don't do all these different things at one time because you're going to get kind of a little bit of an overload if you do. So, this is a bad habit I have. Let me just shrink this page down a little bit so it fits here better. Okay, so here's these are the images that we uploaded. You know, they're all here in the media library, and I'll show you how we're going to access those in a minute. First of all, everybody needs to know I'm basically Atlanta stupid. So if I show the wrong picture or the wrong place, this is actually just a demo. So it'll it'll be okay. So let's go over here and let's start with these uh, communities. And I see that the communities are actually not here. So we need to go to plugins first. Plugins are little tools that add functionality to WordPress. And You've got a bunch of stuff in here. So this is uh, one that we made. So let's 
Let's activate that. So we want to make sure that the Equity Communities plugin is activated. And uh, and then we want to uh, also go here. We need to activate IDX Broker because we're going to be using that. Okay, so that's uh, those are activated. So now we're going to come up here to Communities. Let's hit All Communities. There may be a demo community, but there's not. So let's hit New. Okay, so let's put Marietta. We won't put too fancy of a title here. But I'm going to click open this page. Things to do in Marietta. And I'm actually going to copy paste some of this. Again, in a normal situation, you don't want to do that. You want to get this if you're going to rewrite it and uh, put it on your site. But for our purposes, we're just going to pop it in there. Okay, these links would all need to be changed also because right now um, they're actually linking off to somebody else's page. They're probably that 10 best that we were just looking at. So, all, of course, all those would need to be done. If we're going to change that, I can actually click there and you can see it's showing there. So I can remove the link by doing that. Or if I want to redo the link, I can hit edit and maybe I'll put something like, be sure and put HTTP here. Um, you know, say this is a website, atlantawhitewater.com and I'm going to put open a link in a new tab since it's going off my site. But if it's, there's a link that I want to put here that, that actually links to something on my site, then maybe what I'll do is I'll click here for some existing uh, content. I'm not going to link it to uh, some of these things, probably aren't that hot to, to link it to. Just employees and pages. Maybe I'll link it over here to this. Uh, that's an IDX page. I don't want to link it to those because they're, they're kind of broken right now. Um, I'll actually link it to a listing here since that's probably on our site. Okay. Oops, one last thing. Usually if it's on a site, on your own site, you don't want to open it in a new tab. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, we'll add a link. Let's set the featured image. This is important because the way these uh, properties are going to show up. We'll put that. No, that's not a good one. Um, this is a house. Uh, we'll put that anyway. You can add some information here. Um, we may want to put a caption in case we use it. Okay, so that's going to be set in here as our featured image. You can actually set these pages so they have a sidebar or they don't have a sidebar, depending on what you want. Right now we're going to leave that as it is. And then here's the SEO words here. You can change this so it's something like uh, Marietta. So, you know, we're actually, they're saying that this is too often. We're not going to get into all the SEO things. That's a topic for another conversation, but it tells you what to change. So we're going to say that this is what we want. Let's publish it. Okay, and then let's, let's take a look at it. Here's our page. Yeah, it's kind of off the edge and I actually didn't use the, the page builder like I was supposed to on this page. So, um, let me go back. On the page builder, 
let's make sure that we have uh, which post types we can use. And we want to add communities because we're going to want to use it on our communities. In fact, we'll just put on all. Okay, so let's go back to our communities page. And this is one we made. So what I'm actually going to do is I sh should have done it on the page builder, which I didn't. Just uh, kind of a bad force of habit there. So I'm going to cut all that out of there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is hit the page builder. I think you're going to like this. I'm actually, it's asking which uh, template I want to use. Let's just use the blank one. So you drag a module on here to get started. And we're probably going to use HTML since there's some HTML in that code. And that didn't turn out like we wanted it to. So let's hit Add Content. Let's see if we put the text editor. That might be a little bit closer to what we want. Yep. And let's make sure it's on visual. Okay, and there's um, all this stuff. So let's save it. Okay, we like that. Um, we're going to need a picture up here at the top. So let's add some content. Let's add a photo. Oops. You have to drag these over here. I haven't gotten into that practice yet. So let's add a photo. We're going to get it from our media library. So let's see which one we're going to add here. This was the one we put on the page. Now, if I had a big one, it might actually work better. But I'm actually going to crop this so it's panoramic, and I don't know, I'm hoping that's going to make it a little bit shorter. And uh, there's a lot of adjustments here. Do I want it to show on certain types of devices? Uh, so I'm actually going to make this fade in after about uh, half a second. And then I can set up CSS settings here if I want to. Okay, and I might need to change that because I don't want the names to show up. But um, So that's kind of cool. Let's, let's save that page, publish the changes. But you know what I really want? I, this is a real estate site, so what I really want is um, uh -oh, something went haywire there. So let's uh, open this in a new window. And here it is. You saw how that kind of faded in, which, you know, we decided that was going to be cool. So now what I want to do, this is a real estate website. So now what I want is I want the, uh, I want some listings down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is go over to the IDX broker page and uh, log on to the IDX broker back end. And I'm going to go here to create a widget. And I'm going to put a showcase. We want properties. I'm going to make a custom search. And I can use any of these search pages. So I'm probably going to just use a basic search because I think what I need is here. And we'll set this debate about Marietta and Marietta to, uh, to rest here. And it is Marietta. So I'm not sure what the price ranges are, but let's just say my clients generally want between 200 and 800. And I'm going to set a couple of additional options. I only want to show um, properties that have an image. 
And I'm not that worried if they have a virtual tour, because virtual tours are usually just the compilation of all those pictures anyway. And maybe the open house, but I want to show the ones that have only been displayed, or that are only um, listed in the last seven days. So I want this widget to be responsive, and I'm going to call it Marietta. Um, newest listings. And I guess there's not much I can do there. How many columns do I want? I want them about three or four wide, so they're nice and big. Maybe I'll put them four here, and it'll show up to 100 listings. So let's build that widget. OK, I get a little piece of widget code here. And uh, so let's see what we do with this with our page builder, how this is going to work. So let's hit page builder. And uh, WordPress widget. So I know that WordPress has these little text widgets here. So let's grab that. This is going to go all the way to the bottom here. And let's see what this looks like when we save this. I'm not actually going to put a label on it. And it kind of looks like it just vanished. So that probably didn't work. Let's try it again. Uh, add content. Let's see if we put the HTML one in here. If that works. And now that I'm thinking about it, okay, it may have actually saved them both in there. So this, I may have done this a little bit wrong. If, let's take a look at it. Let's save the changes. Okay, it's going to load the page. And there's nothing there. So let's go back here and let's hit preview widget and see what we get. Okay, problem is we're showing uh, there's no listings that match that. So that's, that's the problem. So let's go back to the widgets list. Maybe what I ought to do, let's do a search. And let's just see what's in Marietta so we know what, what we're talking about here. Let's spread these numbers out a little bit. I got a lot of results here. So let's go to like page 49 and see what we got. Okay, so 300. 400, maybe they just haven't gotten listed in the last week. So that, that may be the issue with my, with my widget here. So let's, let's change that real quick. So let's put 30 days just to make sure that we got some, some results here. Okay, and if I update the widget, then it actually should update the page and reflect those changes. So let's see what happens now. Let's preview that. Hmm, something's wrong. I'm actually just going to remove that then. Let's see if this shows us anything. Okay. So Marietta's not showing a lot of flux. And you can see from 200 to 800, we've got six listings, basically. So we may just need to change our prices up. Let's change that to 1.8. 
and see what that does for us. Okay, so those are the ones we're going to use. Now let's go back to our uh, to our site. Okay, these are styled a little differently. Whoa, that brought in a bunch. And it should be showing them in the order of the newest listing. So these are going to need to be styled a little bit. And that's something um, that often people will have us do because we can do it pretty fast. Um, and we'll see what we can do with them here in a minute. But there's our listing. So now if somebody comes to Marietta, we've got basically what we want here. We've got a picture, we've got a little information, and we've got some property listings. So I think those are the three big pieces there. Okay, so let's make uh, another one of these community pages. Let me go back to our preview. It looks like Atlantic Station was the other one. And I'm going to set a featured image here, which is going to be that. And we'll leave everything else uh, the way it is. Let's save our draft. Let's open our page builder. We'll do blank. And again, let's start um, rolling these out. So what did we figure? We needed a photo here at the top. And it's from the media library. It was this. And we're going to call this Atlantic Station. And I think we said we're going to crop them panorama. It's going center. You can link the picture to something. So I'm going to, you can link it to a light box or the photo. We're going to leave it to none. We don't really want it linked. We're going to display it on everything. And again, we're going to do that fade in. Uh, after a half second, you know, let's do a different. Uh, animation just to make life interesting. So we hit add content here. We're going to put in our text editor, put it below that picture image so it's got its own column. Okay, 10 things to do in Atlantic Station. So I'm just going to get it to that point because I don't want to copy these pictures over. Let's paste that. Again, this would all be rewritten. We're not, we don't you want to copy paste because you get duplicate content, which is bad. And then uh, let's come back over here to our IDX broker. Now we've learned a little bit about making these uh, these widgets. So let's add a new widget. Again, it's going to be a showcase. We're going to do a custom search. And uh, we're going to do a basic search on this. And this is Atlantic Station, which really isn't a city. It's more of an area. So that is not going to work. So let's go back up here to widgets. Let's make a new one. We're gonna, in order to get that, if it's a subdivision, we're going to need to get uh, into uh, the advanced search. So let's see if we can find that. Uh, in the advanced search down here in the subdivision or an area. Let's see if Atlantic. So there's some short ones. And one of those might actually represent Atlantic Station, but we don't know since we don't know anything about Atlantic. Okay, there's Atlantic Station. So we select that as our subdivision, and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull the price information out of here because I don't, I don't really know how many pricing, how many, 
what the prices are there. I do want it to have an image, and I'm not going to set max days because I think that kind of didn't work so good for us on the last one. So we're going to call this Atlantic Station Listings. Uh, we're setting them to four columns. Let's build that widget. And we're going to copy this. So we're going to add content again. I'm going to add HTML code in here. Add a new column. That gives us a little bit of extra flexibility. So let's save that. Okay, it looks like there's only a couple listings there, but that's okay. So that's our page. See what it does, see how it slides up? That's cool, I love these animations. Okay, so let's make a new community. This is going to be Brookhaven. Set the featured image. I'll show you why we're going to need these featured images later. So we're, it's going to get the green smoothie. The, we want these images so that they show up on the home page in a widget on the home page. And you can add more information there that would be appropriate for the SEO settings and all the different things that you're going to do on your page. Um, that's kind of outside of the scope of this how to set up a site in an hour video. So we're going to do the same thing. Blank. Um, again, the basic modules. There's some other advanced modules here where you can put in accordions and galleries and all kinds of uh, information here, but we're, we're not going to do that for this uh, video. So I think we you can put videos in here. I'm going to put a video here. I'm sorry, a photo. So Brookhaven is this refreshing beverage. And again, we're going to Crop that panorama. And then on advanced. Uh, what do we do? Slide up on that other one. Let's do a slide to the left. After about uh, three fourths of a second, we'll make it a little bit slower. Oops. That's that. Okay, then we're going to add some more content here. We're going to add a text editor. Again, we want to slide that. There you go. So it's below that other blue line. So Brookhaven. Save that. Let's go see if we can make a, another widget. Oops, wrong one, I hit carousel. So to get out of here, I'm gonna have to go up here to manage and then hit create. There's, you can change all these widgets. We're just doing this uh, for sake of ease, this is nice. You can do a polygon search and just say, you know what, this area of Atlanta is what I want. Let's put it in there. And that's awesome because you can get between the river and the freeway and between the park and, and the mall type of a thing and draw a box in there. And, and, you know, it's something that kind of the locals know what it is, but people like me wouldn't even know what you're talking about. So let's look at Brookhaven. Okay, it's actually a city. 
And again, we're going to pull out uh, the price difference things here. And the only feature we want, we want to make sure it has an image, just because if not, it kind of looks a little goofy there. So this is Brookhaven listings, um, four columns, build a widget, grab this script, copy, that's control C. And then I go back over here, we're going to add content, add an HTML box, you can see how it makes a new column. Uh, we're going to control V, which is pasting that, or command V actually on mine. And then we're going to hit done, publish changes. Boom. Oh, there's a lot of property there. So on that Brookhaven one, we might have been wise to uh, maybe limit that a little bit more just because there are so many listings. Uh, this will show 100 listings here. So this is, these are, uh, I guess that's above 200. That's everything. So anyway, um, yeah, that's done. Uh, one more community, which is Buckhead. So let's do Buckhead. Let's select an image. I don't think I put that green smoothie on one, but I, I can't remember. So. Buckhead lifestyle. So let's save that draft. You can see this, once you know how to do this stuff, I mean, it's really not that technical, not that complicated. We kind of jokingly say that, you know, they've trained lab rats how to do the stuff that we do, but you kind of got to figure out how to do it the first time. And then after that, it goes pretty fast. It just it's just a matter of sitting here and working your way through everything. So we're going to go to the media library. Uh, we're using this. I'm going to crop it to the panorama. And I don't know if that's actually going to do much. That's a huge picture. So you can see that one's 1,200. All the other ones were 600. Um, it's just going to be too big. So we'll have to change that. Let's cancel that. Um, you get back here. Remember we had this list of things here. I'm going to duplicate this. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to change it to be 600 pixels. So I'm going to name it that. Let me open this thing up. Tools, adjust size, 600. Okay, I'm going to save it, close it. And we're actually going to add that one here. Let's see if I can add it in just like that. So let's stick a photo, select a photo, yep, and we can upload it. So that actually worked out good as a little demo. So there's the dining Costco 600. Corso is what it should say. And so it should say Buckhaven. Or what is it? Buckhead. Yeah. Buckhead. Buckhead lifestyle. Okay, so I like that better because it's going to fit a little bit better in our picture. In our page, I mean. And it'll look like all the other ones, too, and I think that's, that's pretty important. So, um, where did that? Let's do another fade-in. We'll just make it a one-second fade-in. Okay. So we're going to add our content, text editor, slide it down here and make a new columns, get it below that picture, yep. There's some things about Buckhaven, Buckhead. 
So it looks like it's mansions, so that means it's going to be expensive for the homes. So we'll have to make sure we keep our price ranges open. Okay, let's go here to create another widget. Showcase, custom search. We'll do advanced search again just in case it's a so let's see, Buckhead is what we're looking for. There it is. So let's go down here to the bottom. We want it to be responsive. Buckhead listings, four columns, build widget. that into here Get a little piece of HTML stick it on the page let's take a look at what this looks like oh it looks like there's a bunch of them here too and they didn't look that pricey actually you know so maybe your neighbors have nice homes so that's done in okay so we actually took quite a bit of time to do that so now what we're going to do is um, let's make a new page which we're going to use as our home page and so this is going to be uh, Atlanta home page and uh, let's go to the page builder and we're going to come back here. This is what we want it to look like. So we're just going to start building this page. We're going to use blank again. There'll be some uh, templates built in, but we just, for ease of use here, we want to, uh, we're going to put a photo in there. We want a big one on this one. So let's find a nice picture of, of uh, something from Atlanta here that we uploaded. I actually like this picture a lot, but we may go with something else. Let's see how big this is. That's only 600 pixels wide, so that's actually too small. This is 1,200 pixels wide. This is 1,200. Uh, this is going to look cool for our design, so we're, we're going to use this guy. So let's put this in there. Uh, we want no crop on this, and uh, we want it full size. There's actually a thing here that'll stretch this out. So we're going to fade it in. Uh, again, oopsie, not too many decimals there. So there's actually a setting up here for this row. Um, you can set here if you want it to be a photo as a background or you can have a parallax effect which means it kind of slides up and down the page um, so we're going to save this image in here for right now there's actually a setting here I can't remember where it is where it says full width here it is on the row settings, full width, and the content we want it to be full width. And let's leave that like it is. Okay, so we've kind of stretched this out a little bit, and that, that might be too tall. So let's let's adjust that. We're going to adjust the height on this thing if we can. Height. Yeah, it might might be good to change that that image height. So it's not so tall, but anyway, we're gonna have to roll with it here so we can get our get our video done on time. So we have that, we have our image in. Let's see what else we need here. Okay, we're gonna put in Explore uh, Atlanta Neighborhoods is the next thing. So we're actually gonna grab a WordPress widget here, which uh, is the communities. So we'll make a new column here for the communities. We want to show four. Uh, 
to explore uh, land uh, neighborhoods. And we're ordered by date. We want to show the featured image. Uh, Let's see how those are. Those look pretty good. We want to show the post title. And then how much content do we want to show below here? You can see this has got like the whole bunch of information. Uh, so we can do a couple options. We could show a limit where we say, you know what, just limit the content to like um, 100 words or 100 characters. And, and so, yeah, that, that could kind of work. Let's go back and look at what our what our design looked like. So it looks like there was a space here for some some stuff, but this is about four lines, and I think we're kind of looking for a couple of lines. So let's let's limit that to about sixty characters and see what that looks like. Okay, you can see this one goes down on three lines, and this is on two, so that's no good. What does fifty look like? Yeah, I don't know. Let's try 80. See if we can just make it three lines. Uh, we'll do that for, for now. Um, the other option is just to put no content. And, and I actually think that looks pretty cool. You know, it's just, you know, those neighborhoods and... Uh, Anyway, our design said that we're going to have those, so we're going to have those. Uh, again, these can fade. You can do all these. Uh, you know, we'll do a slide down here after one second or something. So, just to make it, you don't have to do all these animations. I'm just doing it to kind of be funny more than anything. Okay, there's our title. Okay, so what's the next part of our page design? Some blurb about Atlanta real estate and how awesome we are in Atlanta. So let's uh, back in WordPress widgets. This can be done in one of a couple ways. I'd probably actually use this. It has a pretty good little text editor. Again, I'm going to put it on a new row down here that says a new column. Yeah, this won't actually, you know, there's pluses and minus to this, but we'll just put it here like this. So I can set, if I hit this, this brings out all these different things. So we don't really want this to be paragraph. We want it to be like an H2. We want it to be pretty big. And uh, so we're going to put here. Helping folks in it. Okay, so there's that. And that contact us today should probably link to our contact us page. Once we get to there, let's see what else we got to add on this uh, design. And browse Atlanta community. So this was going to just be a list of communities down here. So 
we're going to add content. We're going to do this one a little bit different. We're actually going to go back to WordPress widgets and use the text uh, widget. The main reason is, is we're just going to do this and it doesn't matter. You can do uh, this any which way you want. But this one just because we want to get the title here. So let me see what does it say. Browse. Okay, and you know what? This actually isn't going to work um, because I need the text editor in here because I'm going to put a, a list. So let's cancel that. That's not what I wanted. So let's go back here. Uh, let's go back to basic modules, text editor. There we go. So we want this, again, to not be paragraph, but we're going to make this H2, which is kind of big. And then we're going to put some names here of uh, some communities. So this is going to be um, And, you know, I'd probably like to have a little column in here. So let's see what happens. We're going to save this for a second. So maybe what I need to do, let me go back in here. I'm going to change this up just a little bit. Let me grab this. And I'm going to cut that out. Okay, I'm going to save that piece in there. Now what I'm going to do... I'm going to add some more content in here. So I'm going to add uh, on a new row this list of stuff. Okay, and I like that pretty well, but let me show you something. So I'm going to duplicate that and put it right down here. So I'm going to, I can drag that. I need to make this a little bit smaller, it looks like. So let's adjust this. Oh, let's I actually clicked on the toolbar. Text editor. Okay, I can edit the column. There we go, column settings. And that's not going to work for me. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, edit column, insert column after. So you can see it made another space here. So I'm going to put um, four of these in. So let's, and you can see there's an option here. Reset column widths. Let's add one more. And it automatically sets them up. So I've got four columns that are all equally spaced. So now I can grab this content and put it in here. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to put it over into that column. I'm going to duplicate that and drag it over into this column. So now I'll double click this and that well, was Buckhead. So this is, um, I don't even know of any cities here. Caldwell, Denham, Denver, Eagle's Nest. I just hope nobody from Atlanta looks at this and Things we've gone crazy. I'm trying to get them kind of in alphabetical order. Um, so we'll put a 
Green Hill, Hilldale. Um, Knightston. Midland, uh, Nest Haven, South Beach, and Turnbull. Okay. So let's take, I'll just show you a quick example of what we're going to do with one of these. So say the Buckhead one, we're going to go back and hook this up to an IDX saved uh, link page. So let's create a save link. And we're going to do uh, advanced search again because I can't remember what Buckhead was. We're going to make a save search. We want everything in Buckhead. And we're not going to even show any of this stuff. Results per page, we're going to put 100. And we're going to put them, um, you can change all these different settings. Uh, in this case, we're going to put the newest listings first. And let's go to this. Next step. Buckhead listings. You can put your meta tags in here. Whatever those would be. Uh, put a link description. You can even change the header and add some more content here about Buckhead. And you can assign an agent to this link if you have uh, the agent package on IDX Broker so that you can say, you know, all of the Buckhead stuff goes to Karen or all of the downtown Atlanta stuff goes to Kim. Uh, so just kind of whatever works for us. So we're going to save that and go back to manage links. And I'm going to copy the link address, go back here to this Buckhead one, and I'm going to insert a link. And I don't, it's on content on our site, so I'm uh, just for this practice, I'm going to open it in a new tab because this is actually a different client site. It'll look a little bit different. It won't look like the site we're making. Uh, let's save that. And let's go back to our, uh, so you do that for each page, make a save search. Save search, and then we just fill out the footer down here at the bottom. So this is basically done. So let's publish the changes. This is what our page looks like. Okay, explore these things so you can see like maybe this font needs to be changed there's still some things you could do to kind of polish this up if somebody clicks on this buckhead then it's actually going to go over here to this page which is showing uh, the newest listings in, in buckhead and this would all need to be styled of course to match match the website so um, what I would do on this still is add the menu items up here um, We'll add this page to the menu. Just pick the page you want. You can add it to the menu. You can see it's showing down here. It should be in this. This makes it a sub-menu item. You just drag it and drop it. Menus are easy to use. So we'll save that menu. Oops, went to this home. Let's, that's the home page on this site is set as this right now. But if I go here to this Atlanta home page, it loads this. This image still needs to be stretched out so it goes to the edge. So that's something we'll have to work on. Uh, these neighborhoods pop up. And what's cool is that you say, okay, well, let's click here on Brookhaven. So that, we did use the green smoothie. But I we used it as the featured image, it's not as the image on the page. So let's correct that. 
real fast. Launch the page builder. Okay, it's got the green smoothie. Uh, let's click here. There we go. And we're going to replace this with a green smoothie. Okay, we're done. Publish our changes. Okay, something kind of went sideways on us there. Let's take a look. There's the Atlanta homepage. As we slide down, okay, there's our green smoothie, Brookhaven. And there's the green smoothie. As we slide down the page more, we can see all these listings in here, which we can click off onto. And uh, the Atlanta. So the last thing I want to show you real quick is we're going to switch this to be the home page, the, the new Atlanta home page. It's real easy. So we're going to go here to uh, settings and then reading. And we'll just set that right there. Stick a page in there. Save that. Okay, so now we visit this site. And it's got this Atlanta page as a home page. So one last thing I want to do on this, I'm going to just put, uh, I'm going to click on the page builder here. I'm going to put an IDX uh, Omni Search tool in. So what I'm going to need, well, Oops. Is what I'm going to need is to put that in there. Let's go back to uh, WordPress widgets, and I'm going to grab this Impress uh, Omni Search. I'm going to put it in right below there. There's an extra fields here that we could add that adds a bunch of extra stuff in there. You can see those, but those also would need to be styled so they look good on the site. So I'm actually going to remove those for right now. And uh, I'll make them this slide down uh, after half a second because we don't want that. That other one looks like it's taken too long. So. These can all be changed. We can change the style on this button and all these other things. It's just a matter of taking the time to work on it. So let's publish the changes. And this may actually connect to a different IDX. You can see that slides in and they'll slide down. And maybe there's too much animation, too much sliding around there. But you can. Uh, This is set up to one of our demo sites, so you can start here and start your search. So one of the things I'm seeing is this looks pretty wide compared to this other thing. So let me just, these some of these spaces just need to be adjusted. You can see this is wider than this, and everything looks kind of crazy as far as the widths. So let's try to make them all line up right now with this. Um, I'll just show you real quickly how you do that. So let's look at our column settings. We need to adjust our widget settings to get this set. So I'm going to put this maybe at 40 pixels to pull it in a little bit and 40 on the right side. 
You can see that gets it a little bit closer. 50, 60, looks pretty darn close. So we'll assume that it's the same on the other side. Okay, so that, that kind of set that up the right space. Uh, let's check this widget. We just, we, on this one, we actually want to stretch it out just a little bit. So maybe we'll make it negative 20 and negative 20 here. That, that didn't really do what we were trying, so let's cancel that. We, we probably need to adjust these column settings just a little bit. So let's see if, if there's a, a calling. Uh, I'm sorry, the column. Yeah, here we go. So actually, what, where we should have adjusted this one up here is uh, it's probably here. And these aren't adjusting in this case, so we'll actually have to uh, go in here and, and make a, a tweak. This one, let's see if we can adjust this just a little bit, pull it in. So let's put a 20, that's still too close, 40. Sixty, okay, and then we'll put sixty on the right. Pull that in just a little bit. You can adjust the the padding around it, also. And then this. Uh, so we'll bring that in. We don't really need to adjust the other side. And this should have probably have been on a new row. So I'm not sure how this is actually going to work, but let's take a look. Column settings. Because this may adjust all of them here. So let's take a look here. If we do, uh, we want it 60 in. Yeah, that works out pretty good. So, let's see what else we have here. Um, real quickly, let's make the uh, contact us page, and I think we're going to call it a day. Contact us. And let's go to forms. We're going to make a new form. This is really easy with uh, gravity forms. We're going to put contact us today as the form name. And uh, we're actually going to come here to these advanced fields. Let's pop, click on name. And we want an email next and a phone number and maybe a paragraph text so they can comment something and so and so we probably want to add a little bit of text in here oh, this is good so we'll just change this one we click this Update the form. Now, when we go back uh, to our pages, so this form is called Contact Us Today, and then here's the Contact Us uh, page. We can open that with the Page Builder if we'd like. Again, we're going to use the blank template here. We're going to grab a word 
WordPress widget, which should give us a form. And it'll let us pick which form of all the forms that we have. So uh, we'll put that in here. And say I wanted to put a little more uh, information in here, I could add, uh, like we've been doing, add a little, our little text editor here at the top. You know, you can put anything there, you can add a picture, or whatever you want to do. So uh, that's done. Now you've got a contact us form, and it's going to send you an email when somebody fills this thing out. And uh, I'm going up here to the top, I'm going to copy paste this page. And uh, let's go to the Atlanta home page again. If you remember, right here we put contact us today we'd normally put it here so it has it links to this page but in this case let's just make this link work let's turn on our page builder slide down the page here a bit right here contact us and people may not be able to see this link too well let's see so we can actually just add that link, we save it. You can see it's a little bit different. Done. Publish changes. And I think we're ready to go. This looks like a real estate website to me. Uh, it needs some work and some adjustment here on most of this stuff, but you can see in about an hour you can get the whole thing cranked out. So that's it. Sign up today at Agent Suite Sites dot com